Mad Max Fury Road. So Mad Max is the fourth installment in the entire Mad Max series. Interesting of note is that the very first Mad Max starring Mel Gibson came out in 1979. That means it's been exactly 36 years since the very first movie came out. And now here we have our newest addition to it. This film stars Tom Hardy, Charlize Theron, and Nicholas Holt as the main characters in this movie. Tom Hardy playing the titular Mad Max. And the whole theme of this movie is basically figuring out who was crazier. You, as in Mad Max, or everyone else. Meaning, everyone else. From the moment you see Tom Hardy on the screen, the first thing you see is him in the middle of the desert next to this really badass car and a two-headed lizard. Right there you can tell how shitty everything is. It's an apocalypse, or it's a post-apocalypse. Everything is just a barren, dry, saltful desert. And afterwards, Mad Max gets captured by a rival tribe, and he's held hostage there, and he eventually escapes. Well, tries to escape, at least. And so, then you introduce to Shelley Theron's character, Furiosa, as it were. And she sets off to go find some salvation somewhere around the world. But she's also carrying with her some people she cares about. And so, she's sent off. Now, the first thing I want to give credit to is the fact that Charlize Theron kicked so much ass in this movie. She was actually a pretty big badass, if not the badass of the movie, next to Mad Max, of course. The action scenes were, in a short word, fan-fucking-tastic. The movie is only two hours long, that's 120 minutes, and I'd say roughly 70% of this movie, maybe 75%, is pure action. There's car chases, there's random things going on, things blowing up, people shooting at each other, getting thrown out of the trucks. There's so much going on. It's like a pure action movie, almost. Like the old action movies of the past, like the 70s and 80s. And it just seems to go on and on and on, and you can't help but be enticed by that. Then you just start falling in love with it, like, wow, this is awesome. This is steep. And they're not like little, small, short action sequences either. These are very long action sequences. And it kind of kept me engaged as the movie went on. And I'm just sitting there wondering, okay, how are you going to get to the next action sequence? What's the next action sequence going to be like? Who's doing this? Who's doing that? Who's getting killed? And you just can't help but feel a little giddy on the inside. Like, that is so fucking awesome. It's crazy. It's mad. I also want to take this time to give a shout out to Nicholas Holt's character, who's this really ghostly, pale-looking guy. I actually didn't even know Nicholas Holt was in the movie until I had to read the credits online. And then I could actually pick out his accent there. I don't know what it is, but I kind of gravitate toward the character. He put on a hell of a performance in the movie. And I don't know why. I just felt like I kind of wanted to be that character, like, for some odd reason. Also, and I have to give a real shout out to this to show you how awesome this film is. At several points in the movie, there's a guy playing an electronic guitar with full-blown stereos and radios behind him while they're driving in the middle of the road, and the guitar is shooting fucking flamethrowers out of it. When have you ever seen that in a movie that's not in our metal rock band or whatever? That's just fucking awesome. And he's just randomly playing it like it's nothing, like they're giving a concert in the middle of an apocalyptic chase scene. Like, it's just Friday or whatever. That's just kick-ass. You're never going to see anything like that. Well, you probably will, but this isn't what I was expecting. And I fucking loved it. But there is actually some story and some heart in this. They actually do show it to you pretty well. They do tell it, and it does make you feel a little bit bad and sympathetic for the characters. Not going to tell you what that is, obviously, but you'll know it when you see it. Also, I'd like to mention the fact that there are some really badass vehicles throughout this whole movie. Things like Hot Wheels you wanted. The Hot Wheels you wanted once. Overall, by the end of the film, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I was actually geeking out over seeing a bunch of action. I couldn't contain myself. I thought my, I told myself this was a very fascinating flick. And that's why it's getting a diamond ribbon rating for me. So, Mad Max Fury Road. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was too much? Did you think it was just a clusterfuck of awesome? Whatever you think, leave me a comment below and tell me how you feel. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter at Asteroid Mike. Don't forget to check out my blog. And as always, I will see you around.